Okay, so now we're going to be looking at the cooking profile settings. And please for <laughs> excuse the look of my manual here. Uh, I'm going to change the name from cook settings to cooking profile settings. And the reason why is, oh, to get to the cooking profiles, you just hit the, the knob once to pull up the menu. Scroll down to, there's profile one, profile two, profile three, and profile four. Okay right here and that's why I wanted to change the name because it said cooking settings and so you get it so okay we're gonna go to profile one here the cursor is under there and um, there's profile one all four of these profiles look identical okay and um, so let's just start from the top of the manual uh, the first part right here is, is defining the difference between cook by time and cook by probe. So, uh, cook by time, it says if none of the profiles are held, in other words, hold equals in, then the controller will cook using the cook time from every profile. Okay, so let's do an example of a cook by time, okay? So, let's say we want... Uh, we want to cook at, let's say, 225 degrees for 30 minutes, okay? And and we can either leave it, well, okay, so, and to cook by time, we have to have the hold equals N. So we're going to change this to N, okay? Now, if we leave it just like this, after 30 minutes, the barbecue is going to turn off, all right? Unless we add a second profile. So we'll just go down here to profile two. Okay. And let's say we want or we want to, after we're done cooking at 225 for 30 minutes, we want to cook at let's say let's say oops, let's say 300 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay. So now what we have, we have profile one, 225 for 30 minutes, and it's going to jump down to the profile two at, at for 300 degrees for 30 minutes. And, and if we don't hold this right here, it's going to go to profile three, right? And, and, or if we don't set profile three, after it finishes this profile, it's just going to turn the barbecue off. Okay, but we're not done. So we want one more profile. Oh, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Ah, oh, this is, this is, <laughs> it gets us all. I forgot to hit save. Okay, so profile two for 30 minutes, save. Okay, let me go check profile one. Did I forget profile one too? I right, forget to hit enter save on that. Uh, two thirty. What happened? Two twenty five. Okay. All right. Now, now is it, is everyone still with me? So let's go down to profile three. Okay. And let's see our last profile right here. What we want to do is we're going to go low and slow. So we're just going to set it to two hundred degrees, and we're going to set it for sixty minutes. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter save so I don't forget it again. Okay, so now we've got profile one, okay, at 225 for 30 minutes. Then it's going to go to profile two at 300 for 30 minutes. And then it's going to jump down to profile three at 200 degrees for 60 minutes. Now, you remember, none of these profiles are held. So after it gets done with profile three, the controller is going to turn the grill off because it's done. And that is cooking by time. Okay, so let's do an example, cook by probe. Now, uh, now, what this says right here, one of the profiles is held. In other words, hold equals Y. Then the controller will cook until the desired meat temperature is reached, or the user shuts it off, okay? So, let's look at an example, cook by probe. So, uh, right now we have profile one and it, the target temperature is at 100 so 180 so let's say we want 
to our our first uh, let's say we want profile one to cook at 225 right and we're gonna come down here and set this to N for no because we, we want to use another profile okay make sure to hit enter say <laughs> okay now we're gonna go down here to profile two and we're gonna do our same 300 degrees okay and we'll just set this for what do we have it at 30 minutes okay all right all right enter save don't forget that now we're going to come down here to profile three and we're going to set it to 200 okay except this time i'm not going to put a time in here i'm going to come down here and i'm going to set hold equals y Oop. enter save okay and so what what's going to happen now so profile one is going to be at 225 for 30 minutes profile two is going to be at 300 for 30 minutes and then profile three it's going to it's going to sit on profile three until you turn it off or cook by probe shuts it off and that's what the hold is for you only hold the temperature you want the controller to stay at um, until you turn it off or the um, uh, cook by probe does okay and that's the difference between cook by time and cook by probe okay so this next section right here it says uh, cursor down to uh, Y hold and set in to use set in to <laughs> cursor down to Y hold and set to N to use profiles two through four. And that should actually say on profile one. So on profile one, it's just saying to change, if you want to use profiles two through four, you need to turn off the hold right here. And the reason why is, so I just rebooted this controller and, and it defaults to, it defaults profile one to uh, hold at 180 degrees okay and and that's for the hot dog simple cooking and so so it just says all this is saying right here is if you want to use other profiles you need to not hold it okay and that's because it defaults to this so you need to remember that <laughs> um, to turn that off when um, if you want to use other profiles okay now Right here we've got the, and, and so now this is just, these are just definitions, okay? It says target temp can be increased, decreased by turning the knob. Cook time can be increased and decreased by turning the knob and cursor down to hold. And we just talked about all this stuff. And it just says repeat for profiles two through four because they're identical, all right? So, um, so that's it. Don't forget... You can support the Muxall Open IoT channel by donation using a credit card and PayPal or by purchasing products at the Muxall store.